Hey guys! So today we are doing my Ipsy unbagging. We're gonna talk about the products that I did receive in my bag. I'm gonna tell you a first impression of most of them and we are going to go from there. So if you want to see what I got in my August Ipsy bag, make sure you keep watching. So first I want to touch on the fact that this is different. Normally it's pink. And now it's gold. I don't really know. I've seen some people get pink. I've seen some people get gold. I don't know the difference, but I like it. Then this is the bag that I got and it says good vibes only. And it's this cute little like ombre thing. And I do think it's super adorable. The little tassels. I don't mind it. Normally I'm not a huge fan of Ipsy bags, but I really like this one. I think that there were like three different types of bags you could have gotten two. But I'm not sure, but I remember seeing three different types of bags uh, when the email first came out about the August Ipsy. So that is super cute. I do think that's a little bit different, makes it a little bit different than normal. Oh, there's something in here. Um, this is a pretty good size and I do think it's cute. So Ipsy bag for the win. So this month's theme, of course, is good vibes only. This is what the little card looks like that came with it. Um, this month we're filling the universe and your glam bag with peace, love, and magic. Break out the crystals, wear some flowers in your hair, and get your chakras in check. Then head to the Ipsy mobile app for beauty news and the deets on your five products and all things groovy. Hashtag Ipsy vibes. So there are like a couple new things that are with the Ipsy membership now, and it's called Ipsy Shopper. So you can get 10 to 30% cash back on every single purchase. Yes, that's real money. On over 20,000 products from your fave beauty products, beauty brands like MAC, Smashbox, and more. You did on Ipsy. I think it's for when you have an actual Ipsy membership, of course. So it's not just like randomly. If you don't have a membership, you can still get the 10 to 20 or 10 to 30 percent cash back. Um, Ipsy Care 24 7 member support and happiness guaranteed. And then stuff about your glam bag. So it will say online like tips and tools on how to use the products that you did get. So that is pretty neat um, within itself. But let me stop rambling and get right into the products that I got. So the first thing that I did get, which this poor little, little guy, I didn't even know he was in there. I just thought I got one mask. I did get these two sheet masks from Secret Key. So one of them is the Nature Recipe Honey. It is for nutrition and smooth complexion. Honey is rich with nutrients that revitalize the skin, nourish your skin with nature's gift. Honey, 5,000 ppm and royal jelly extract rich in amino, a in amino acids, enhance elasticity and nourish the skin for a healthier glow. Then the other one is a tea tree calming and smoothing. This one is what I'm really excited about to like get rid of some of the redness that I do have. Um, sometimes it's a lot better than other days. Sometimes it's like, but yeah. Tea tree leaf extract helps relieve redness and irritation. Nourish your skin with nature's gift. Tea tree leaf extract, again, 5,000 ppm, helps calm your skin by providing soothing relief and instant radiance to dull, tired skin. So. Those are both cool. I cannot wait to test these out and then I'll let you know how they work for me. Probably be in like an empties video. So the next thing that I got was the Balm Voyage from The Balm Cosmetics. And it is a shadow slash luminizer. So let me see. It says on the side that it's a travel shadow, ombre, voyage. And then it has this really crazy name. Kuwaka Rizbisha. I don't know. Here's this little thing, and this is what it looks like on the inside. That right there is the name. Forgive me. So let's just do a little finger swirl. Well, that's not bad. Hmm. That's not too bad. I don't think it's super shimmery, but it does have a nice sheen to it, especially when you buff it out like that too. Real quick, let's just take a little brush. We'll take the brush that I got. So it is an Ipsy Smith Glam, must be a collaboration, T35 Precise Blending Brush. This is what it looks like. It's really cute, really soft. It's a blending brush, but let's just like dip into here. Not sure if I like how that picks it up. Put that onto the lid. 
that is pretty it is very powdery and it's probably from the brush that I'm using but I do like it that does give a really nice illuminizing look I'll be interested in seeing if it works as a highlighter too so the next thing that I did get was from Aurora and it is also an ipsy collaboration it's the pro color corrector in pistachio so it's a green one so what we're going to do is put this onto my redness I've never color corrected so we'll see how this goes I don't know how much is too little how much is too much so we're learning together a lot of the time what I like to do is put down concealer normally shape tape concealer and take away some of my redness that way. Um, this clearly dries down very quickly, so do it in one spot, blend it out, do it in another. Don't do what I just did. Fun fact. So I had to start over because it dried way too quick and was not blending out. So what we're going to do is put them in one spot and then blend. so much better oh wow that really does help cancel the redness I don't know why I just always was like a skeptic of color correcting just because it seems like a lot of work okay so I'm just going to add just a little bit more on this side so it's a little bit more red over there little test. I want to see how it works with tinted moisturizer, which seems a little silly because if you're using tinted moisturizer, like, are you really wanting that much coverage? I use tinted moisturizer a lot and it just doesn't cover up the redness as much as I prefer. So that's where I do take, you know, concealer typically and I'll put it on underneath just because I, I don't like the way that it looks from the, um, tint of moisturizer on its own. I feel like my cheeks still look a little weird. Oh man, I got some of my hair. Just because they're so red and it has a hard time covering that up. So I guess this is an experiment. This is a first impression, which means I have really no clue how I'm gonna feel about this product at all. But it is something that I will keep you posted on and let you know, you know, is this worth it? Is Aurora making a good color corrector? Now I'm sure that you can probably buy this as well. I'm sure they probably have something. Like if you can still buy it on their website because like BoxyCharm and stuff with Temp2 had a collaboration, you could still buy that, so. Looking at my skin, it definitely helped with the redness, but I feel like it took away, like I feel like my skin looks really dull. Um, so let's just take a bronzer. I'm gonna use this one from Tarte. It's a uh, Park F Princess. I use this all the time and bronze up the skin a little bit. Definitely, like I, a lot of the times too, like I feel like the bronzer just looks weird right here because some of the redness is peeking through and it just looks like my cheeks are kind of like discolored or something, I don't know. I don't know if you guys ever notice it, but sometimes I do um, when I look in the mirror. But that did give some color. It actually gives me more color payoff when I do color correct, that makes the bronzer stand out. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe. It might be worth it. I, this might be a new thing that I do. I don't know, but I'll definitely let you know. So let's make sure I've got everything. Yeah, so the last thing that I received was this Makeup Forever Mascara. It is the Excessive Lash Mascara. Or Resting Volume Mascara is also how they describe it. So this is definitely a sample size the packaging is that soft matte that i absolutely love so on the back of the box it says of course you know that it's gonna add length and volume or just volume but the pictures make it look like it adds length but whatever when it comes to your lashes it's good to be excessive <laughs> um this volumizing mascara creates a resting volume that instantly enhances any look. Its easy glide formula allows for intense black buildable intensity. 
It's a lot of intents. While lashes remain separated and defined, don't let this little brush fool you because the size doesn't matter. Excessive Lashes exclusive small brush was designed by and for professional makeup artists to reach and grab every lash. It ex includes a mixture of hard and soft fibers that will work together to build big volume with eye-opening effects. So I already have mascara on and I forgot that I had this in my bag. So I wasn't going to test it. I'm still not going to test it, but that description just had me very intrigued about the brush on this thing. I'm like, I'll see it. And I gotta show you guys it. It looks like a normal wand to me. So here's what the wand looks like. Looks like a normal wand in my opinion. It's not like as big and as bulky as the um, Better Than Sex or the Lash Paradise one from L'Oreal. But I mean, it doesn't seem like like, I want to open this and be like, oh my gosh, those bristles are so small, sort of thing. Um, and it was originally pink. So I'm really not sure what the big deal was. But I will test this out for sure and let you know. It does look to be black, so that's good because I don't like not black mascara. And it's good for six months. So, unfortunately, I know that I didn't really have a lot of items to actually try on for you. I was able to test a couple out, but as I use them, and the more that I use them, I will definitely update you on them, give you my thoughts, my concerns, my questions, my reviews. I'll definitely keep you posted, let you know the what what on this stuff. If you liked this type of video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me on all of my social medias. They are linked down below. And little, little some something, something. I'm gathering some things for a, another giveaway. So make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave. Sorry. So catchy. It just gets stuck in my head. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So. And nourish your skin. Oh, no. Oh, I should. Stupid. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> and if you liked this video, please make sure you. If you liked this video, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my, God. did I say this was for Makeup Forever? I don't know. This was for Makeup Forever.